After training like crazy for the past few months, the spring game is finally here. The fight for QB1 has been close all camp, but that's only because I'm a freshman. Yeah, y'all know how it gets when politics are involved, but my play today is going to set me apart from everybody else. But look, I'm headed over to the cafe right now to grab a quick snack before the game. While I do that, let me bring y'all up to date with everything that's happened since last episode. After suffering an early exit from the state playoffs last episode, I had to switch my focus and get my mindset for the next chapter of my football career. See, at that time, I was still uncommitted and I hadn't taken a single college visit, but that's because my mind was already set on where I was going. I took the rest of my senior year off from football and really just focused on being a kid. You know, partying, hooping, fishing, really just enjoying life because I knew as soon as it was time to leave for college, playtime would be over and the hard work would really start. Oregon University. Yeah, I've known I was going to be an Oregon Duck since I was a kid. My pops actually got his master's degree from Oregon and my grandfather did as well. So I guess you can say it's always been a part of the family. National signing day came and I made my official announcement and let the world know I was headed to play for the Ducks. Moving out of the crib was tough, not for me, but for my parents. Yeah, they were sad to see their baby boy go, but I wasn't sad at all. Yeah, it was finally time for me to go take over college football. My parents drove my M8 and the U-Haul from Florida to Oregon. Meanwhile, I took a first class flight there, that way I wouldn't be cranky or sore from the long drive. The first thing I did when I got on campus was request a meeting with Coach Lanning and the OC. Yeah, I had to let them know that I was ready to lead this offense and put the team in position to win the championship this year. Man, coach, I'm so happy to be here right now and I'm excited to get to work. I just wanted to touch base with you and maybe go over a few different schemes that I think you should consider adding to the offense. I think if we make a few minor changes that'll better fit my play style, we'll have a better chance of getting to the playoffs and potentially winning a title. <sighs> Alright, so yeah, maybe I went by the coach's office a little too soon. I mean, I hadn't thrown a single pass against a Division I defense or taken a single snap from under center as a college athlete, yet I was already in the front office requesting changes. Yeah, I can admit I was tripping, but all that did was put an even bigger chip on my shoulder. For the first month or so, all we did was strength and conditioning training. Then it was finally time to put on the pads so I could show them what I could do. The first week or so, I'll admit I made quite a few mental errors, but that was expected. It took me a little bit of time to build some chemistry with the wideouts and learn the playbook. So a lot of my passes were either underthrown or thrown right into coverage. Once I got comfortable though, things began to change and I started making plays. It seems like everything began to slow down for me and I was really having my way. The main difference I noticed between high school football and college football is the speed. I mean, everything is like five times faster. With Bo Nix leaving for the NFL draft, that left a huge opening at the quarterback position. Well, that opening attracted two huge transfers, former UCF and OU quarterback Dylan Gabriel and also former UCLA quarterback Dante Moore. Now, initially at the beginning of camp, judging by the number of reps each of us got, it looked like Dylan would be QB1, Dante would be QB2, and then yours truly was at QB3. But now, I'm pretty sure I moved into that QB2 slot. So we have about an hour left until kickoff. Now, I believe Dylan and Dante will be splitting reps in the first half. Then I should have the second half to myself, but I could be wrong. Regardless though, no matter how much time I'm out there, I already know I'm gonna make plays. I just need everybody else around me to do their job. There's a lot riding on my performance in this spring game as this may very well be the last chance I have to show just how much better I am than every other quarterback on the roster. Going into the spring game, I promised myself to have total confidence in my team. I know normally I can tend to not want to take risks because of uncertainty that they'll be able to catch the ball and complete the play, but I changed my mindset for this game, and early on that newfound confidence in my team proved to be very beneficial as I was able to connect on a 40 yard bomb over the top of the defense for my first touchdown. But look, let me be honest, Dylan and Dante played a decent game, but to me they both seemed timid and scared to let the ball fly. Meanwhile, I came out guns blazing. I not only scored on the team's opening drive, but I was able to find the end zone on the second one as well. Our third third drive started off with a big run up the middle. I used my speed and vision to ram the ball up the backside of the defense and I picked up about 30 yards. I was feeling extremely confident and I know for a fact the coaches and the fans had to be impressed with my performance because 
I mean, come on now, I was picking them boys apart. I remember thinking like nothing could go wrong at that point, and I had actually fully embraced having confidence in my team. Well, that was until the O-line didn't hold their blocks, which forced me to throw an ill-advised pass in a triple coverage. I was pissed, and I felt stupid for even depending on them to do their job. I knew better than that, and I also knew I had to make up for that interception, so I started to call my own number. I was able to get us down right outside the red zone and ended up throwing another interception because another one of my teammates couldn't make the play. Two interceptions in one quarter is crazy. By the time the fourth quarter started, I had lost all confidence in my teammates. See, I didn't want to risk throwing a third pick, so I did everything I could to keep the ball on the ground. As a quarterback, when things go right, you get all the credit, but on the flip side, when things go wrong, you get that same credit as well. Even if it wasn't your fault, it's still your fault. We had about two and a half minutes left in the game and I honestly felt like at that point I had blown my chance to secure the starting spot. Even though the other two quarterbacks on the team didn't play as exciting as I did, they didn't turn over the ball and honestly, we all know that's what really matters. In my final drive of the spring game, I played pretty well and was able to move the ball up the field to score a touchdown. Now this was technically my first college game so I truly feel like I did my thing. I mean I showed confidence and composure in the pocket and I also showed that I'm a weapon on the ground as well. Now if I had to grade my performance alone, I'd definitely say I put on an A plus performance. <laughs> So as y'all can see, I'm back here in Florida at my parents' crib. Yeah, they gave us a week and a half off for spring break, so I caught a flight back home, but honestly, I'm not sure if I'm even going back. Shortly after the spring game, I sat down with Coach Lanning, and I asked him to keep it real with me. Yeah, I asked him straight up, like, who's going to be the starting quarterback for the season? And he told me, Dylan is his guy, and then behind him is Dante. Now, y'all should know damn well I'm not about to be no third-string quarterback, especially not for them two bum-ass dudes, so I just been thinking, weighing out all my options. All right, so look, obviously I can go to pretty much any school in the nation I want to. Now, some schools I'll be coming in as a starter. Meanwhile, there's other schools that'll probably have me compete and work my way up to QB number one. Now, of course, I could just stay put at Oregon, but with QB one and two already being set, that means it's almost certain that I won't be playing this year. But if I do go ahead and jump into the portal and go to another school, that would give me a fresh start. So even if I came in at QB two, there's still an opportunity for me to play. Now, I've been weighing out my options with my parents, and of course, they like to see me stay put in Oregon, but they'd also like to see me play, so they totally support me transferring. Now, if I'm being honest, I haven't told nobody this, but I've been thinking about coming back and playing at home. Maybe I go to Florida or Florida State, and then of course, Miami's always an option as well. So look, since we're family, I'd love to hear what y'all think. Should I red shirt and sit a year at Oregon and hope that maybe next year I'll be starting, or should I test out my luck in the transfer portal? Do your boy a favor and comment down below what my next move should be. Until then, I'm on to the next one.